All right, what's up everyone? Uh, I got a couple of uh, requests to do the one of the door installs from start to finish. Um, it's probably maybe, I'm assuming, for people that's wanting to get into this. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do it on a daily basis. Um, when we get to the warehouse there, they got a dock you pull into. No, this is the loading dock. We load the doors from a dock, you back into it, so it's, it's a lot easier to put it on the, the ladder rack like that because you're up that level. But anyways, I'm getting ready to show you how I unload it, uh, what I do here. We'll try to, I'm gonna, the last one they said if I could do a little bit slower. Slow motion. So I'm gonna try to get you some more in detail. This is the, um, the 8000, it's the non-insulated Wayne Dalton door. So if things are gonna be a little bit different because you have to put the, um, all the, uh, the brackets and stuff on, where the 9100s, they're all already on there. You just, you know, bolt them to the next door. We gotta physically put them all on and then bolt them to the next door. So a little bit different but the same in a sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and get unloaded, let you guys see how, I'm, how I do all that to try to, and I try to do this the easiest way I can. Um, so I try to do this as less stress on me as I can. So I'm gonna get this stuff going here and we're gonna jam it out. I usually get all my hardware and tools out. Our angle cutter in here. I'll show you how I set these up in a minute. It's going to be hard to keep moving the angle of that camera. We had another door next door, but they're going to be busy today drywalling, so we're going to have to come back. Let me get these straps untied. Be right back. All right, I got my tools brought in. Get the strut and the spring in here. Now on these, I flip them down over here and then pull them off. It's a little bit easier that way. Just slide them back till they start to teeter a little bit. You don't wanna try to do what I'm getting ready to do next with them not doing this because you'll bend them. These, are, these bend easy. So right when they start to teeter, I stop. Then I bring them down. Bring them down to the tailgate. Then just take some cable cutters, cut all the straps off. They change these. These used to be one solid long piece. Now they're they got them in pieces. I don't know if that was for the trash can or I usually just bend them up and throw them away, but I don't know, I'll have to ask, see why they done that. Or if it was cheaper for them, I don't know. All right, then I just grab one panel at a time, bring them in here over on the side. I'll show you that when we move the camera. And this is the easiest way to unload without being too you know, stressful on yourself and be able to do it by yourself. Because when you gotta unload, I just unloaded a, uh, a stock bridge with the glass top panel, and those are heavy. But there is heavier ones too. So I like to bring them in one panel at a time. This does suck when you gotta bring them in from the street. Cause not always are you gonna get the back end right, right by the garage. I'm gonna move this over here. That way you guys can see. All right, I'm gonna get the next one down and do the same thing. And then I'll bring you guys back inside. Okay, we got all of our panels two through four. Over there, your bottom one, bring it in. Put it on your saw horses, stands, whatever you got. I usually put them about where the bracing is in the doors, one on each side. Um, your trash, you have to take it over to the dumpster, always clean up after yourself. Uh, that's just the rule when on the, on the new bills. So let me go throw that away, I'll be right back in. Okay, once I get everything unloaded, I uh, bring your slide lock in, I usually put it on the, it depends. Most of the time I put it, where the walk-in door is, but this is in the middle, so I'm gonna put this on the right side. Um, what I was saying about after you bring everything in, uh, if, there's a, if you still have doors on your vehicle, I usually go ahead and strap up and get ready, because when I'm done, I wanna just take off. That's just how I do that. Some might wanna wait until they're done, you know, with this job and then go. Then I, then I start to get the hardware here. Um, on these, I trim my rubbers, get this out of the way, because I don't wanna put my door up and then have these hanging up in the rail. 
I usually cut them at a little bit of an angle towards the inside, the bottom, that, so they're kind of V'd on both sides. I'll throw them away here in a minute. Okay, bring your hardware box over. Now here's where you're gonna see the difference from the 8000s to the 9100s. You gotta literally put everything together. I put all my rails and stuff over here and my, uh, now these are different too. You have a nine and a 10. The others are, I think a three and a nine, if I, if I remember right. So I put them over there. Our wheels, our cables. All this is the same here that I do from the other one. I get them out, I put left, left and right over here real quick. Then I, this is for the spring, the, the center support. Get all my nuts and bolts out, the cables. I'm gonna try to do this at a decent pace, but this is just me doing this. I mean, you learn to go when you go. So you got a left and a right, same as the other. Put those up, get these ready. To... Okay, now I'm gonna show you what's in here just from... All right, so we have one through three on our uh, brackets. The bottom door starts with all ones across the, across the board. And you have your, um, your cable brackets. I set those out left to right. So your uh, nipple's gonna go on the bottom outside, you know, left to right. So you can't put this one over there because it's gonna be up high. So this is your right, that's your left. Lay these out. I'm gonna show you something on these, on the, uh, okay. So you have, you got a number on, your, on these. The number goes towards the bottom on all these that go up. On every one of them, your number's gonna go down. So one, two, three, don't put your number up like that because of the way the door sits and the, you know, the next one goes on, you want it to be the way it goes. So numbers down. All right, now here's our, for the top door, I'm gonna lay all these out over here, left and right. And then we have brackets two and three. The three up, and I, I just slide them together, one for each side. I'll show you here in a minute why. I just prepare everything that way. When I get going, like I said, on even on the last door, I want it to just go up. Got to loosen these. They tighten them from the factory so they're not coming apart in a box. Just a little bit. They don't torque them or nothing. All right. I put my wheels on my rollers in. Now the rollers go two and three, they go on the bottom hole. They go in the bottom. Same with the left, same with the right. Put them in the bottom hole, okay? And then I'm gonna take, and then our top one. Then I'm gonna take the other four, and I'm gonna put two on each side for when we're putting it up here in a minute. Same thing on this opening. There's nails, I didn't go around yet and do that, but you wanna go around and make sure they got them everywhere here. Pull out your nails, staples, whatever they got it going on, they're gonna be there. Okay, so the rest of my brackets I leave in the box. I don't put none of these handles or uh, step plates on because eventually there's gonna be an opener on there and we just never have. Some people do, some, some people don't. You can if you want, but they're really just more stuff to put on. Now on these, I, I pull out my, my wood, the big self tappers here. Let me make sure you guys can see all this. Yeah, I pull these out and then I get out my, these are for the side rails. I put them over here, the nut and the bolt. And then I get out two of these little ones and two uh, nuts. We're gonna use them on the side rail, just like we did the 9100. And then the rest of these are, we don't need them. I roll them up and put them in the truck for extras. Okay, so here's our left side. I put them in the box down here with the, with the rest of the number ones that are gonna be going up in the middle. And we'll do it as we're going. Put all these in my pocket. This is, and then I put these together here. So I put these together that way I don't lose nothing. There's a, I'm gonna put it left to right. So you got one with the washer, one without a washer for each side. I'll show you what they look like. The one with the washer has the, uh, the hex uh, where it tight, you know, where it slips into the slot and the other one's got teeth on it. This will be the one we use on the top rails. Okay, same thing on these hardware bags. I'm gonna go through, they give you these, uh, long uh, spacers and bolts. These are for, we never use them, so I take them all out of here, take them all out. Those are for that other, that other hardware, but we don't use them, so put them in there, put them in the box. Now I go through and take all my self-tappers out, go through it kinda, get those out of there, and leave the normal ones in, in a pile. Okay, put those in one pocket, 
and the other ones are going another, but we'll, we'll leave them out for a minute. So it ain't pulling your pants down. Uh, now, I'm gonna go ahead and put all my other stuff over here, I'll show you. Same thing as we did on the, uh, on the 9100. I'm gonna take my cables, left on the left, right on the right, lay them out. I, it's funny, on the 9100 door, when I pulled that up, I'll show you when we pull them up, there was a person that commented and thought that was a rat uh, flying up through there. Rat! It's a rat! It looked like it too when I went back and seen it, it was funny. If you guys go back and watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. As I pulled that up, that thing was coming across the ground and it looked like like a like a rat. It was crazy. I didn't even know it until somebody said something. All right, so I lay all this out and I put these in order. Top bracket last and two and three ready to get. Well, if I can keep them in there. Two and three ready to grab. So I'm gonna go two, three in the top. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one of these real quick so we're not wasting the whole video here because I'm gonna try to edit a bunch of this out. So I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through and put all these in, like I said, with the number down, the bottom bolt hole, and then your slot. Tighten them up. Same thing all the way down. Now these on the ends, they go, it's, it's, let me show you. There's a bunch of holes up here. You want your, starting from the top hole, put your bracket on there and take it down. You'll see where the bottom one goes. And there's gonna be two holes in the slot. Use your top hole for the, that's a, I missed the self tapper. Use your top hole for the slot. Cause it, cause the bracket covers half of the second ones. You can try to do it, but you fight it and you're just fighting it. So now on these, there's two holes right here. You put them in to where they match up these two holes. And then this hole is gonna be on your, on your bottom uh, retainer. Explain why here in a second. And then take you a self tapper and put it through the whole thing, the retainer and all of it. Now, now if you don't do that, and put this bracket up one set of holes up where that's not on that retainer, that bottom hole. When we go to open and shut this door, it may not be a problem today, but when the opener goes on and that opener is pushing that door shut, the bottom of the door is going to hit the, your stop mold and this, uh, the framing here because it's up too high and uh, where it's at in the rail, it's too close to the, uh, the opening here. So if you move those down, it actually pulls the door back a little bit from this opening. So remember, just like I showed you there, uh, and put your bottom holes in it because it keeps that retainer up. Now here's another thing on these eight on these eight thousands that's an issue later on. After we leave and put these doors up, there's other contractors coming in and out all the time, and they're opening and shutting this door. And they just got from factory these real teeny little self tappers in here, and they come out. So after you keep pulling on this and shutting it and opening it, this eventually is going to hang and uh, be down to the ground. So what I'm doing is. I'll put, I can't hold these bolts today. I put a couple self tappers just so I ain't got to come back out here for a surface call, service call. I'll put one about right here. And then I'll put another one, same place on this side. And that's all you need because we got our end ones on our brackets. So I'm going to finish screwing all the rest of them in there. I'll bring you back here in a second. All right, quick recap. That's how, that's how these go on right here. Just like that. Two holes, bottom one goes in a retainer, the self tapper. These. First two little holes, put your top one in the first hole there. The second one will line up there. Number one brackets all the way down. Same thing, all the way down. Oops, sorry. Just to show you guys, and same thing down here. And don't forget these down here. Let me kind of show you where they're at. So this one's offset a little bit this way. Here's your center support. And that one's offset a little bit that way. That'll keep that retainer on, won't go nowhere. You won't be coming out to fix it. On these side rails, they come with straps. I take a screwdriver, put it in there, give it a little twist, and rip it. It's the quickest way, easiest way, whatever you wanna say. All right, we're gonna take them over here. Okay, these are the same, no matter what. The only difference you're gonna ever be, not the, the same way I do these, I put the bracket like this. That part up, flat part down. That's this side, your rail's on the inside. I'll explain that again later why. Same here. Now the two little nuts and bolts we pulled out earlier, I put them through right here. And the reason being is you can, there's guys that do these and don't put these in. But when we go to put, I'll show you later, when we go put these up, you don't have those in, something happens when you're putting this in, you start fighting it. This thing can slide out of them little, these right here. They can slide out and then you gotta get off your ladder, fix all that crap, it's just, Trust me, put these in. Make it a habit, you won't worry about it later. 
All right, I put these up left and right over here and one down here. I apologize about the camera and not being able to turn it everywhere, but I just put one on each side of the opening, left and right. Now on these, smaller bracket goes on the middle slot. The bigger one goes on the bottom slot. 9100 is bottom top. If you watch the video, make them straight as you can. Now here's our top slot. Put these in the slot. Do the other one. Small plate, small bracket, middle, big one, bottom of the top slot. Break them up. Put these on. Now, let me show you here. I'll put my right one over here. The left one, I pre-install it so we can get our, oh, you know what? Moving a little too fast. I forgot guys, gotta go around and get all these out real quick. I'm not gonna record it all, but I'm gonna go around and take all the nails out real quick. Bring, I'll be back in a second. I'm sure most of you know this, but on these nails here, the easiest way is to stick your hammer in there and go sideways with it. It pulls it out much easier because they got shanks in them and they uh, are hard to pull out. Okay, we're ready. All right, so I take my left side. I usually try to put it like right about in the center. I look up top, make sure it's about in the center all the way up. And then I put my screw to the left of the, you know, to the left of the slot. So all the way this way. Okay, leave that there. Try to get this in as much as I can here. All right, get your door, your panel. Try not hit this camera. These are the worst because they're so flimsy. So I come down here and you gotta kind of hold it because it's gonna go all over the place. I put my cable on first and the bottom roller. I'm trying to do this with one hand because it's floppy, so floppy. Put the top one in. Let that lean against me a little bit. Now this, here's where that looked like a rat behind me. I bring this up, put it over that top slot there. Now, fit this into this side. These are much, so much tougher because they're so flimsy. Make sure your cable's out of there. Get them both in the track and slide this part in. Let it rest over there. Now what I do is, same thing as the other one. I probably can't get them both in here, so. I'm gonna make sure the door's centered in the opening. So I'm gonna check this one. It's over in this line here, the edge. And this side is, it's gotta come this way a little bit. So I need to pull this bracket loose just to here. I pull it all the way out. Hit my door over where I know it's gonna be even down there or in the same spot. And then I put my little gap, I'll show you down there in my rollers right now. I hit a nail. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I've done down here, over here. Try to do this where we have, okay. Put our cable on, and this door is in the right spot now. It's the same on both sides. That's why I even it out right now. Put my rollers in, get my screw ready, and get my track. Put my cable up over this. I'll show you where it's at here in a minute. All right, now, set this one. All right, so here's what I meant by the, I make sure there's a little bit of a gap, same as the 9100, just a little bit of gap in my uh, rollers. I don't want it too tight. Okay. Hit a nail again. Can you believe that? They always put them right, man. Try to bring that down a little bit. Pull me right back over to it. Okay, so now our little gap's there. Then I'll come up to my next one and set my second one. Let me tap this down a little bit. So it's more even. Try to keep it about same spot, just a little bit out on this one towards the wall. Put your screw towards the slot over to the, that way because we want to be able to adjust these out when the door's up. Now here's where I here's where I put my cables at. Right up over this first ledge on both sides, just like that. Okay, number two panel. We got our number two bracket for this side. And then number one brackets go the three in the middle. And once we put our door up, we'll grab our other number two wheel and bracket and put it on that side. I'll show you that in a minute. So go through, same thing, same slots, same holes I mean. Put these in. Put one of my screws in this, get it ready. These longer uh, drives with the magnum are nice. I get it over here, so we're ready. And I get my number two bracket and thing ready over here. I keep my ladder over here and I usually get it, set it on that. Let me get this set up in place and I'll bring you back. Actually, I wanted you to see, cause these are more flimsy. These are actually a pain in the butt. You're a little pain in the ass. So hook your wheel over here. Try to set that down on that. 
straight as you can because these are like i said they're wobbly there we go grab your plate with the thing in it your wheel the bearing wheel bearing whatever you call it same holes set that put that in its place now i want to make sure my door is even with this bottom one and then start over here and then i come down here and get this side Go along and put these other ones in. All right, I'm gonna finish these out and then I'm gonna put my next one in, my next panel, and do the same thing and I'll bring you back. Guys, real quick, make sure when you're putting your, your brackets on your, your panels that your groove, your your slot is at, this is the bottom. So the top's got, uh, it goes out, the bottom goes in. Cause you can't have this upside down and put these on this side and realize it when you get over there, oh man, I got them on wrong. Dang it. So. The indentation that goes in is your bottom, and the part that goes out is your top. Now also, this is another thing. This is the third panel, and this is the last of the number one uh, bracket, the last three. So that, that's how you know you're done in your hardware box. All right, I'm gonna hang this real quick, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, a couple little pointers. I take the hook of my drill, and I put it in my, before, you know, I have it there, so when I hang my next panel, it's ready with a, it's ready with a screw in it. So when I have my, put my next bearing plate in, the screws in it, I just take it and I put it in. I don't gotta be looking for anything. Just so you know that part there. Now, this part here, let me try to get this in where you guys can see. So I'm gonna finish putting the rest of these in now on both sides, cause we gotta put our top rails on now. So I just check my, uh, the distance in my wheels again, make sure they're out just a little bit. I'll bring that in to about where it's, I don't know, a little over a quarter of an inch right in there. And then I'll use the bottom slot. Now on these, I make sure that my bracket's going out towards the top, like a, it goes out like this, just a hair. So when I put my spring in, I ain't fighting it. And I'm gonna do this on the other side too. Make sure these are flipped down, because you, when you put your panel up, you're gonna have a problem. Same thing, check your, uh, make sure all these are good. Bring it out just a hair. Get that bent out on us. About. A little over a quarter and then tap that out just a hair just a hair not much all right okay next step so here's a little level it's got magnets on it i love this thing take it put the two slots towards the back and put it about i don't know just a little ways there and then grab your bolt that we put down here earlier with the one without the washer the one with the teeth all right now here's what i was telling you about i ain't got my ladder it's, it's walking on me. Okay, put the nut in your right hand, the bolt in your left. Bring your rail up, put it in the slot, tap it down, put your nut through that slot up here. I'll show you when we're done. And now I can just hold it with my finger. You ain't gotta be over here holding it up on your shoulder and fighting it, none of that. This is where this little bolt and nut come in too right here. That was gone and I'm sitting here pulling back on this. That could have pulled those out of those slots. So it's just a good safety thing and you ain't gotta come down and fool with it when it all comes apart on you. And trust me, it sucks before I started doing this. Now you're up and safe once your nut's on it. Get your 9 16 tap this up till the bubble's kinda level. I put mine towards the back just a hair, the bubble. Just a hair. Tap it up a little bit. Start tightening this. And if you tighten fast, it pulls those teeth right in there. And I snug it up. That's it. Now we go to the other side and do it. Now let me show you real quick what this looks like up here. This is why I put that rail on. Where are we at here? I can't see right here. This is why I put the rail on with the flat part down and that part going up. So when you do what we just did, you can squeeze this right here. If this was up here, it'd be, you'd be having a problem trying to squeeze it. So them two being flat, it's easy to squeeze. It holds it in while you put your nut and bolt in. And then here's where I have the bubbles, right there. I'll bring you back after I got the, the top panel on. And actually, I'm gonna let you watch me put that up there. So give me a few. Okay, we're on our last panel. Get your strut, lay it up towards the top. Make sure it's even. I usually put about a quarter inch of a gap at each end so it's centered in here. I'll show you what I mean by that. Get your self tappers on. It's gonna be no noisy. Just go all the way down. The next ones I'll put at an angle this way. You want a good charge on your thing on your uh, driver when you're doing this stuff.
Hold up on your door when you're pushing down. You don't want to bend it. Okay, on this top roller. All right, so here's how I put it on. There's a, there's a hole right here. I put that in the middle top hole of the bracket. Get it on there, even it out. Get you two self tappers. Just start them first. Just snug them up. Okay, down here, what I do, I'll get my next non-tapper, non-self tapper, put it on there. I'll hook this to my, that one. I'll get my top plate and I'll hook it in and just slide it down on top of my drill. If I don't have this right here, sometimes you'll have a two by four to your right where they're built on the house that they're building, then I'll put it there. But if not, I'll do what I just showed you. Hook it in and let it rest on top. Before I put this top panel up, I always come to this back door and open it up so I have some kind of light coming through in here so it don't get real dark on me where I can't see anything. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I put this up. Now here, these are the part that sucks on the, uh, this is the part that sucks on the, like, the glass panels and stuff. I'll flip it up. Make sure there's no shavings up here from where I shot those screws in going in my eyeballs. And here's the center. I'll put my right arm over to the right of it just a little bit. Left one underneath. Squat down. Pick that bad boy up. Hook this in over here. Let it rest down there on top of that panel. Bring that one in. Slide this to about the middle here so it's even. Keep, keep holding it, don't let go of it. Hook that in place, grab your drill. Put that in your top hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put my two self tappers in real quick. You probably can't see real good. I'll show you though. Just so this don't go nowhere. Tighten them up and go ahead and put your two screws in your, this, this bottom one here. Just so this is all secured. Okay, now we can come down here. Let me see if I got a light on here. That's better. Okay, and then I'll put this side on here. Going down through and finish it. I wanted you to see how those those top panels go up. They're they're bare sometimes, especially if they're uh, glass in them. Believe it or not, these 8000s to me feel heavier than like the uh, the 9100s. Yeah, the 9100s are lighter to me, I think. I know it's probably loud on that, but okay. Now I'll come back and adjust my my. Uh, my top one. I'll push the door all the way in, snug these up, make sure it's all in, then I'll then I'll tap this side in a little bit, snug this inside one up, and then push out on this rail just a hair and move that door. Make sure you have a little play in it, and it does. Now we can tighten it up. All right, I'm gonna do the same with that one down there and I'll bring you back. All right, real quick guys, I put my, uh, a small, regular screwdriver, my cable cutters, and my hammer up here. And I have my half inch socket with ratchet in my, in my pocket for the next step. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put our, our spring up here and get it prepared. Just like any other one, the sticker part goes towards, if you're looking at the door on the inside, the red spring or the sticker on the spring goes to, the, to your left. So red on the left always, or sticker. These here on the, on the 8000s, they have boots on them. So I'm cutting it off with the blade. I'll show you down here. Hopefully this light on this phone is enough. So I'm just slicing across it and peeling it off. Now notice our spring's not out over here. That's what we're gonna do next. Now this goes on like this. The L towards the bracket goes to the left. And then I'll show you, it's got a little V in it and so does the spring. So you just fit it around the spring get it on there some of these slide on easy and some are a pain in the butt it's that the plastic is probably manufactured smaller so we'll slide this down to the middle roughly kind of look at it okay now where that spring was not out on the other end it's got to be out like this so I'll grab this side and hold this spring so it don't slide back in I'll hold this one down here put that down on the ground start Walking that spring out, and there it is. Put that back up here. Okay, once our spring is ready, just like the 9100, we want to grab it. Keep it even. Don't, you don't want them springs sliding back in. Set your left side over that L bracket, that top rail. Put your hand up here and rest it on the top of the door so you don't let go of it. 
Now I'll move that up to the very top one on the left over there and put the right one on the same thing over here where your spring is just hanging on it. And I'll show you how that looks. I grabbed my last bolt uh, with the washer over here and that the top uh, clicker plate for the spring. I put my bolt and stuff up here. Bring that light over here. All right, we can get these out of the way. We're done with these. Here's what this looks like. Try to do this without falling and messing. I don't know if I can, if you guys can see all that or not. No, it's up higher. Is that, is that better? Um, where's my spring? Yeah, we're good right there. It's hard because I can only tilt this back so much. Let's try that. I just hope I don't get in the way of things. Let me see if it looks like now again. Mm -mm. It's right in the way of this stupid thing down here. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm going to grab my, try to do this where you guys can see this. We're going to unloosen the screw on this cable. Pull it out a little bit. The cable part with the slot goes to the outside. Bring it back over here. Roll the cable up towards the back. Slide this over the spring. Don't push your spring in. Do it in careful. Make sure your cable's on the, all on the inside over here. Once you slide that totally in, bring your cable. It's got a slot in it right here on the outside. Put that down on the slot of that bracket. Then I usually snug this cable up right now a little bit. Just a little. Make sure all the way down it's not hung up between the door or around one of these or you want it clear all the way down. Clear, clear, clear. Grab your plate. Take this wire tie out. People leave that in there and they don't realize it gets caught up in these teeth later on in life and then it starts to bind it up and creates issues. Just take it out. Slide that over. Lift your arm up until you get it flat against that bracket. Grab your nut and bolt. You want the carriage part, meaning the head, on the inside, pushing through. Put your washer and nut on the outside here. Push it flat, snug it up, get your ratchet, half inch ratchet. Tighten it up. Now, I'm gonna show you this after we're done, but I bring this down till it clicks until my screw here, my adjustment screw is facing straight where I can get to it and adjust it and everything. You don't want that thing up here or back towards the wall. That's why I bring it around like this. Okay, now get a couple, get some of your, get four of your, uh, those big self tappers out, these. We're gonna use them over here. Get your impact. I do this, you don't have to, but I take my orange safety tag and I use this bottom hole, not the top one, the bottom, the second one, and put this through the orange thing and in the hole. And I just tighten it until it's snug. You don't wanna slam it tight, nothing like that. Okay, now get your regular screwdriver. And this is a kind of a smaller one. Hope you guys can see that. And I'll take this cable, pull it until this is kind of like a guitar string. Keep holding it. Take your screw, snug it up. Now you can let go of that cable. Now come back and tighten the screw good because this is what holds your tension. You don't want to over tighten it, but tighten it. There's another thing. Get some cable cutters. Don't wind these up and then stick it in this little hole here. Eventually it'll come out and look at all this slot. It'll get caught up in this cable and up in this groove and you gotta go back and fix it. So I take it around the back, flip it back around, about that much, cut it, and I'll show you all this up close. Put it in this little hole here and then I'll take the end of the cable and squeeze it to where there's a V. It just kinda, instead of a loop, now it's a V and it keeps it in that little hole. It just helps keep it in the hole. Let me get the camera and I'll show you all this stuff close up. Okay, here's this side. Here's where I put that self tapper. There's the nut in the washer. There's this side. Here's how we did the cable. Put it in that little, I hope my light don't fall. Put it in that little hole there, put it on the back, cut it that length there. You see how that cable's wrapped around that drum? That's how you want it. Going around the back, coming down the back side, all the way down. You want it free. You don't want nothing. I don't know if we can even see that. Right there, all the way down. Not caught up in anything. Make sure of that, because when you go to open this thing for the first time, it's gonna get caught up. All right, I'm gonna go do the same thing to the other side, and then I'll bring you back. All right, I wanted to show you guys this, I forgot. You might run into an issue here. So let me, when you do this side here, once again, slide that over, don't push your spring in. Get it on the V. Sometimes you're gonna have to hit this with a hammer. Uh, to get it to go over this is this is fitting pretty good so but when you do tap on the top part of this thing not hard just tap it in until it goes over enough for your spring to fall in that slot and then i just take and tap it back over just a hair you don't want to bust none of this stuff so just tap easy and then once again 
Take your cable, snug it up, make sure it's not caught up on anything. Take your garbage tie out, whatever you want to call it. Slide it over that, lift the latch, work it on there. I usually take my thumb and put it down here in the gears and churn it until it fits, until it slides on. Same thing. I know I said I wasn't going to show you this side, but I wanted to show you that about tapping that over. Because you will, it's almost, this one went on easy. Mostly, mostly all of them you got to tap over good ways. Because they fit, this part, the drum fits on the spring kind of tight sometimes on both ends. Other times it slides on easy. Snug that up good. Get your, set, get your, uh, your wood screw. Bottom hole. So it's snug. All right, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna get my cable. Oh, I gotta do my cable. Almost went without tightening my cable. Pull the cable tight. Actually, I, I roll this till it clicks. Then I pull my cable tight. Yeah, I'm glad I showed you that too. Yeah, roll that till it clicks on the first click. Then pull your cable tight. Tighten it up. Make sure it's clear. Finish tightening it all the way. Okay. Put it around the back. Get a little bit. Cut it. Put it in your hole. Yeah, and this looks better when you cut them. When you cut them and do this like this, doesn't look all wound up and looking like some amateur done it. You know what I mean? All right, we'll put these tools up real quick and grab our uh, spring tensioner and be right back. All right, we're down here in the middle, guys. I forgot we got to put these on. We keep on wanting to skip steps on us. Put this about. It doesn't have to be in the center of the door. Just wherever there's no nails and. Because when you put your opener in, it's gonna be in the center and hitting the bracket. So now bring this up till the spring is level. Just, just eyeball it all the way across. Put your top one in. Bottom one in, you're done. All right, let's go over here to the side and start putting our tension in our springs. All right, guys, it's hard getting a good angle on that camera. But if you decide you wanna do this kind of stuff, or even if you're doing this at home or something, you're gonna to have to get one of these tools for the Wayne Dalton doors. This is what sets your tension in your springs. So what I'll do is I'll pre-fit it on the outside first. Turn your, turn this until it fits on there where it slides on. And then I usually use the middle notch. Pull that out, set it on zero, push it in. Put it back on the spring, okay. Get your drill, not your impact, your drill. 7 16 socket. Click that thing up. Pull down on the spring till, it, till that arm flips like that. Set your tension. I, I usually put it to 16 on both sides and then test the door. I can't see it. Back it off just a hair so you can slide it off. Let's go down to the other side. Same thing. Get it on your spring, turn that nut until it fits on there flat, flush. What I'm turning it for is to clear that nut, that bottom nut we put on. Set it to zero, get your drill, flip your lever up, hold that to the, there it goes, put it on 16. Now as it gets to about 10 or 12, I'll start to turn on that spring to see how the door feels coming up. Kind of tells me how much, you know, how, how it's gonna feel when it's rolling up. Cause you don't want it to be like real easy. Okay, that's 16 on both sides. We're gonna start there, and then after we adjust our rails, I'll show you how we adjust those. We'll uh, readjust if necessary. All right, let me open this door up. All right, we're gonna open our door for the first time. We wanna bring it up about, about right there. Take your vice grips. I usually put them about just chin level. Clamp them on good. Bring the door the rest of the way to the vice grips. Now we can set our backdrops. All right, guys, for this, I keep my angle, and I made this little thing on the side here. Usually one per side. I got some smaller pieces under my seat. If I see that my I'm, two's not gonna be enough, I'll try the pieces that I have in there that are cut. And then we need our hardware for it, which is four, four nuts and bolts like this for each side. There's eight, put those in my pocket. Eight, eight nuts, four, eight. While we're out here, we'll grab our brad nailer for the stop mold. I'll bring it back inside. Okay, now you want your tape measure, impact with the seven sixteenths on it. You know what, I think I forgot my, well we got enough for this side. Two for each side, the long self tappers. I usually put all my nuts and bolts up here on top of the ladder. That way I can put my wrench in this slot side pocket. So. 
I'll show you all this, but up here, I'm looking at the rollers, same gap as we did down there. Uh, and then our bubbles back here. When we make our backdrop, we want to lift it up to where that bubble's even. I got a stud finder. Some guys just tap on that up there and guess and shoot the screws in wherever they fit. This is a sure thing here. So find your, you'll, usually you'll see how your studs go in these places. The electrical box usually goes, the one for the opener, it usually goes along the side of this um, truss. That's, these are going this way. So that you can see the screws in these, the trusses this way, but don't let them screws fool you because sometimes I don't know what they're shooting screws in and the trusses really go this way. That's why one of these. So get it up there, tap it, find your stud, put a little mark. Same with come over about, I don't know, 15 inches. Same thing. Now see this one's in it. This is why I do this. This is telling me the center of this stud is further away from where they got the screws. I'm gonna test it again just to double check and that it ain't my thing. Nope. They got the screws to the edge of the truss, so I would have been shooting to the edge of it. All right, that's why I do that. So up here, usually I go about 18 inches a piece. Then I take my tape, go up to about where that's gonna be at, at the same angle of where you're gonna have it up there. Bring up your back here. There's a hole back here, bring it up. So that's gonna be 41 to when that bubble's level. So 41, 18, I'm gonna make one for each side. Now that side's got an opening over there, but 18 should be fine. We'll look at it here in a minute. Um, uh, you know, a, a cross space. 41, 18, and then you want a side leg that goes at an angle. So let's make it like 28, because 41, th these are kind of long backdrops. So 41, 28, 18, we're gonna make it for the both, one for each, a set for each side. Okay, actually, I'm doing these 41, 19, and then the remainder's 36. We're just gonna use them how they are. That way we don't waste anything. Another tool you gotta buy if you do this all the time. A Sawzall does it, but it rips your hands up, trust me. These are about, if, if you buy these through the company you work for, they can get them cheaper. I think I paid 240 or 260 for this one, but they're about three or $400 if you get them somewhere else. I just put my angle on my ladder there. I'll show you in a minute. I'm cutting these for both sides, like we said. Okay, I went out and got me two more of the self tappers or whatever you want to call them for the studs. Grab your 19, 18, these are 19s, as we said, whoops. All right, now I put this like this, flat part up, bracket down towards me. That way I can lean my, my upright tor against it. So look at your arm and bring it to about where your arm's gonna be here and that's gonna be your in hang or your in part. I'll sh we'll look at it from the floor. Put them about where your marks are, close your eyes. Line your other side up. See, and that goes right in. You ain't making holes you shouldn't be making. Change that over to my half inch. I use my impact on all these. I just I just snug them. I don't I don't hit them hard. I put my bracket on the side here. Make sure my roller is about a quarter of an inch hanging out. Look up to about where that hole where it's going to be straight up and down. Take that little tip of my angle and put a teeny little mark in it. So when I look down here to get my bolt and nut, I don't lose my position. Just start them and get them on decently. Put your bottom one towards in towards the rail because you're also using that as a stop in case your door comes back too far, it won't roll out of the track. Put your nut on there. Get the cross leg. Get a bolt and nut ready. Now what I'll do on this one, I should have scooted my ladder back some. Put it out a little ways and make sure it's gonna line up with a hole. I'm gonna put this through this way. Make sure it's gonna line up with a hole on your up and down leg before you go putting your nut on this thing. You'll put it all together and come back down here and be like, oh man, it ain't lining up with none of them. But usually if you cut this leg, your cross leg at an even number, like 24, 36, 12, 14, it's, you got a better chance of it hitting pretty much all the time. That's what I've found out. If I go over into an odd number, like 37, 25, then I gotta move stuff around a bunch and it gets a little weird. All right, so now just get your wrench, double check your space in your roller. Here's how much I'm gonna tighten this. That's it. Believe me, it's enough. Because when you go to try to take it off, 
That's when you know I'm, I'm double checking my wheel distance. My bearing. I'm gonna put our other side on and I'll bring you back when we're adjusting the, uh, the rest of the door. Cause we might have to take a little tension out of the spring if it's going up too fast. So we'll, we'll check all that after we adjust the, everything. Okay, we're gonna do the first opening. Get your hammer, the impact with the 7 16ths on it. Take your vice grips off. Let the door open. Now look at your, come back to your backdrops and make sure you got a, about, you know, a quarter of an inch gap between your wheel and the rail. They look good. Now, what you want to do is, this bottom wheel, make sure there's a little gap in it. If there's not, I'm loosening that middle one, bottom one, tap it over just a tiny bit. Bring that one over just a hair and the bottom one over just a hair. It just makes for a nice smooth rolling door. Same with this side. All right, let's test it. Yeah, good. There's no hang up. You don't want that flying back too much. Yeah, we're good. I thought we had to adjust the spring more. Okay, let's measure for our stop mold. So I usually just hook it into the, there's a little place you can slide your tape measure in there. Just hook it in there and measure it. That's three quarters thick. So that's, that's what we're going to take off of the total number because I'm going to measure to the inside of this one. So that's 191 and a half minus three quarter. And then measure your up and down ones. Those will be 83 on that side. 83 on that side. Usually that opening's, or the up and down's like 83, 82 and a half most of the time. Okay. Let me double check this. Measure twice, cut once. 191 and a half. See, I was thinking 190 and a half because I got to talking and I would have cut it too short. So, 191 and a half minus three quarter, half and three quarter. And two 83s. 83 and 83. Now, you can cut these with a, any way you like, but I got this little battery powered cutoff wheel and it works great. Just a little smoke, you don't breathe it in. Let me show you how it works here. As soon as you cut it, you can break the rest of it off. This is our long one. I usually set them out here and then we'll come out here and shut the door and tack them up. Let me cut this, these 283s, and we'll go out there and tack them up here in a second. Okay. Shut our door, and I think I said this in the other video, the reason why I put my stop mode on with the door shut like this, because you get a more accurate fit. Some guys will put it up with the door open and just let them overhang on the inside a little bit. I don't like that because it becomes too much of an overhang. So I just put it to where it's touching the door and it fits it nice, go all the way down. Perfect fit every time. The only thing that sucks about doing them out here like this, hold on, is if the driveway uh, doesn't have no gravel here and you're way down, you have to put a piece of board up like a little ramp. But I got a little two by eight or something in the back of my truck there. Fit your side, same way. Put it just against the door to where it has a little bit of a seal to it. You don't want to overdo it. I get to about the middle, come to the bottom, make sure it's sealing the same batteries going low. Perfect every time I'm telling you if you do it like this and your door opens and shuts nice. Nice seal. I gotta charge that battery. Take you around to see everything. We're done. But if you look there and see it's got a nice seal all the way around it. No issues. You gotta open your door. I can't grip it. <laughs> see when I see what I was talking about about these putting these in here. Opening and shutting this door, man, pretty soon. You go pulling that up and down, and that's gonna start pulling. And those little ones will fall out, trust me, every time. So we're good, man. Backdrops, ah, that opening there wasn't, wasn't a problem. From over there, it looked like it was, but all those are nice and even. The roller's got a good gap, quarter inch, both sides, same gap. The rails are straight, nice. All right, that's it, guys. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully it was slow enough. Hopefully, I, I, I think it should be good with the lighting and stuff. Um, 
I brought in an extra light there. I think it was good. It looked like it from the screen anyways, but hopefully this helps you guys out for the ones that are just DIYers or somebody that's wanting to get into this business. This business, um, it's not for everybody. Oh, we forgot one thing, our slide lock. We'll put it on here in a second. Um, this business ain't for everybody, guys. Um, it's, it's something that you have to hustle to make the money. So you gotta rip through them nice. You gotta do a good job and do, this, and do them fast to be able to make good money at it. So, and it's, it gets hard on you when you put up four or five doors in a day and maybe an open or two with that. So if you can handle that, if you're younger, you know, or somebody that's used to working like that, I'm not all the way used to it like that, you know. I'm, I, I work four days a week. Thursday, I feel it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I really feel it. You're up and down that ladder all the time, so I'm not trying to discourage you, but I'm just telling you the truth here. But it is good, and it, the money's good if you can get out there and hustle. Um, other than that, uh, I got the opener series on there. There's That's on there for you guys. So anything else you guys want to see on this stuff, let me know. But hopefully this helps out. And uh, thank you so much, guys, again, uh, for subscribing, liking, sharing, all that stuff. I like saying this to you guys, man. I really do because I really, truly appreciate it. Um, let's, let's put the slide lock in real quick and then we'll end up in the video. So we're going to choose this side. The reason why I want to put this on, on video is because if there's an issue with it, and I'll explain here in a second. When you put these up, I'm going to have to put the light back on or we won't be able to see. Okay, let me shut our door. Make sure it's shut. Try to get a good angle here. All right, so what you want to do when you put these on to not have no issues is get, you, get your self-tappers. I usually put it about the second slot down. Uh, usually, if you put these on here and hold them up here and it looks like the rail is too close to this edge, when you mount that, as that, uh, if you mount it with the rail too close to that door like that, when it rolls up, this little overhang, believe me, it's gonna hit up there on the top of the rail. So go to your other side of the door and put it on. Usually one side or the other has enough amount of um, gap in it for that not to happen. So, and I try to mount it with this side to the edge over here. Put it up against that, and you don't gotta push down the door or nothing, it's, it's down all the way. And get your self trap brand, make sure that's straight still. Let's test open it. Make sure it don't hit. We're good. All right, guys. I'm going to pack it up here. Get the tools packed up and everything. I'm going to hit the road. Now, like I said, the one next door is not ready. They got drywall hanging on the outside now. So anyways, thanks again, guys, for everything. Until the next one. See ya.